The pressure is on, peer pressure, um, to dress a certain way, to wear makeup, to, to go out looking like a Barbie doll. Going into sixth form when they're wearing their own clothes now, that's harder. They mm. feel they need more clothes. Whereas and it's more peer pressure probably yeah. as well, isn't there? Because yeah. they're a bit older, so. They spend a lot of time in the bathroom with hair gel or makeup or lips or, you know, creams and all that sort of thing. So, yes, they're becoming more self-conscious and you often find that they get very shy or they get very easily embarrassed because they're starting to be more aware of themselves as they're growing and becoming young adults. I always do my hair and makeup before I go out because um, I like to look good and it makes me feel better in myself. It's important to look good, like, if you're meeting people and stuff, because it's like, if you looked really rough or something, then people might have a certain perception of your personality, which might be false. So you'll start to notice perhaps they want to dye their hair, or they want to pierce their ears, or they want to wear a different look, or they want to sort of start experimenting with different clothing, all sorts of things. I think everyone wants to be really slim and look, feel good and look good in themselves. And I think the whole like, oh, I want big boobs and skinny, tummy and stuff and then yeah it's a lot of what girls worry about these days. Teenagers are bombarded by messages from the media about, you know, that they're not good enough, they're not thin enough, they're not tall enough, they've got bad skin, their hair isn't lovely as someone else's that's in the media, you know, some of the, the famous celebrities. So it's about relaxing and helping children feel good from the inside and not worrying all the time about the outside. But it's a balance and of course children are learning that balance themselves. I do compare myself to like people who are like in the magazines that look better than I do and sometimes wish that you looked like that and had their hair or just something about them. Teenagers are very sensitive so teasing is something that you should be very careful about because they can take it the wrong way. Compliment your children if you can. Always look for something to praise uh, because children really need that. Rather than being negative, if you can find something positive, then that's much better for kids. Going out with my mum, that's for sure. When she's going out and stuff, she'll ask me if, if how I think she looks, and it seems to matter to her that I have an opinion. It's important to let your teenagers know that there's no such thing as a perfect body or a perfect person and that a lot of those images are enhanced or fine-tuned and that, you know that to give your uh, child that confidence to know the difference. And sometimes teenagers won't always want to talk to you when you want them to talk to you. So they may come and sit on the end of your bed at 11 o'clock at night when you've gone to bed with a good book and a, you know some cocoa. But a wise parent puts the book down and listens and chats with their child when they want to chat and talk to them. Thank <laughs> you.